Alright. Hey YouTube, this is Sticks. I'm back to show you all how to build your own canvases. It's been a while. I apologize. I've been running around playing. But anyway, I'm back. Um, actually right now we're getting for, ready for the Black Angel series that Mikkel's put on. I'm really excited about it. And if you want a sneak peek, if you haven't seen already, this is one of the pieces for the show. If you can't see it all the way, you just have to go to my website check it out. It's dope. But what I'm going to do today is um, I'm going to build some custom pieces, some custom canvases just for this piece. This is an 18 by 24 size sheet of paper. And usually I'm working with a 2 by 4 canvas or a 4 by 4 or a 2 by 2. Um, it's easier that way. Uh, what I had was some subflooring wood. Looks like this. It's pretty thin. You can buy it um, 8 foot by 4 foot and have it cut down the size that you might need. Um, but we're going to do the 18 by 24. Uh, you could just buy a frame for this, but I wanted to uh, put some wood behind it because that way, the way that I build these canvases, you don't have to have a frame and it's a lot cheaper that way. So we took that 8 by 4 subflooring wood and uh, actually use this to trace how big we wanted it or to outline. I don't like to measure. It takes a long time and I'm usually off anyway. So I just use the true size by outlining the actual piece of paper. And um, as you can see, it fits on there pretty well. And I'm just going to show you the process of how I do everything. Say hi, Daddy. Why you got to go back to the dollar store? For what? Ribs. Who's making ribs? Mm -hmm. All right. So this is this here are the one by twos. And if you're not familiar with these, go back to the other video. I'll show you like uh, what all your supplies are, how to purchase them, how much they cost before you even get into it. This is part two. All right. So here's we're gonna make a 45 degree angle right here on this one by two, and it's gonna look a little bit like this. It's going to have a 45 degree cut and it's going to come all the okay, way Okay, make sure when you're using this type of machinery that you are familiar with all of your safety locks and things on there. Uh, we don't want you losing any fingers. Here's one located in the back. And that locks this into place. And then here are your locks for your angle cut. Okay. So once you get that angle set on there, which we're at a 45 degree angle, you can lock this here and lock this here and uh, we're ready to start cutting and also make sure you use your safety glasses somebody got on me for my last YouTube video I didn't have safety glasses so I'll make sure I gotta be safe keep y'all safe So, and uh, now I'm just about to load my one by two okay so now that we have our 45 degree angle cut as you can see we're going to set it here on the canvas and I like to get the true value of the canvas like I said you can measure if you want to measure twice cut once I personally just like to lay the wood out flush on the canvas and just take its natural measurements so just be careful to make sure that you get that angle cut right at the edge because it's going to meet up with another piece of wood we're going to go all the way around the canvas four sides with this. And make sure you look very closely here because once you get it lined up you want to make sure that your wood is flush with the canvas at the top here and along the side. And don't worry about that crease in there. We're going to fill that in. You won't even be able to see it. Okay? So then we come over to the other side. That's when I take the marker. And as you can see already, I've put a line from here to here. And that's where our cut's going to be. Now, when you make the chop saw cut, you're actually cutting at the top of your 1 by 2 So I'll take the marker and just look from here and take a line here. Okay? 
This drawing right here is just to show when I get up to the chop saw that I want my blade to cut at this angle. Okay? And this second line here is where I just give myself a little room to play with. Um, if you cut your piece of wood too short, you're going to have to start with a whole other piece of wood. But if you cut it too long, then you can still go in and just shave a little bit off. And everything we do here is cost effective. Okay, so once again, here's our 45 degree cut. We're going to loosen this up. And now see where our blade is coming down. It's in the opposite direction of where I drew that line to help me realize you know, what angle I, I want for sure. So we're going to take this out. Unlock these because I would like to change the angle of my 45 degree ang angle. I don't want it from the left, I want it from the right. So we're going to take it down and pull it around. And that's at 45. Okay. Alright. So the same thing here. See where your blade falls. And push your one by two until it hits where you want it. Alright, so the cut's been made. And you can see that there's just a little bit of room from my red line that I put. Now if this is too long, we can go back and just shave a little bit off, but it looks like it's going to fit. From here to here, and then flush. So it does look like it's a little bit longer. So I'm gonna draw another line. Okay, now that we've got this one by two to fit. <laughs> to size and just make one more. We're going to go right back up here and see it's left us with another 45 degree angle so we really don't need to cut that just yet. We're going to take one more measurement and I'll show you all how to do a measurement just one last time and after that you'll be on your own to do this side and this side. So what I'm going to do is set this 45 degree angle to meet up perfectly with this 45. And just like the last piece of wood, make sure that it's flush with the base of the canvas. Just go ahead and get your marker and once again draw a line. Make sure it's a straight line now from top. Or like I said, you can take measurements too if you if you don't want to try the true value. And for me personally, I just like to draw the angle of where the blade's going. Okay? And the same thing, once again, we're going to set it right inside. Okay, now the second cut has been made. And see how good that 45 degree angle looks when they meet up like that? And that ties it real well too. All right. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cut another piece for this side and another piece for this side, right, so just the way I showed you. Cutting the last two one by twos for the canvas, and it looks like this. All right. And not only are you creating a great piece for the canvas, but an additional sales pitch to your customer could be that hey, when you go to put that nail in your wall. Look at the depths in there. You're going to be able to hang this canvas directly on the wall. And remember the sides I told you about. When we're finished, we're going to put a joint compound right along that crease there and sand it down so you can't even see it. It's going to look like one piece. And then we're going to paint this whatever color you want. I like to do black. And then when it hangs on their wall, you don't have to buy a frame for it. It's sitting flush with the wall and it already has depth to it. So that's a great sales pitch also. So I've got three more canvases that I have to get done for the Black Angel series. See that here? One, two, three. So I'm going to go ahead and cut some more one by twos and that'll be all I do for today. Um, I'll come back and show you all how I go ahead and glue these down.